So here we have it. Um, we are at the end here um, in terms of me being able to plate this wonderful dish. Um, I just did a video or a photo to kind of uh, covered um, all of my essential elements. Um, so that includes, of course, my oops, rutabaga puree. Done. Um, of course, my cheese and my grater to do the last minute piece there. Um, my mushrooms looking pretty nice when I sort of lift them out of there. Oh, look at that. Nice and shiny. That looks great. Um, and then, last but not least, our pasta here with the broccolini, the walnuts, as well as the garlic. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to plate. Now, of course, we are not in the main kitchen with food coat. Um but the expectation is, is that you are doing this as professional as possible. Um, so, sorry, I hesitate. I'm actually thinking if I want you actually to make sure you have gloves um, as a part of what you need for your tools to do the at-home uh, lab. But I'll be sure to illustrate it uh, with follow-up, uh, write-up, so to speak. So, you know, we're going to start with the one plate. By the way, my plates, they happen to be red. It's just a fact of the, you know... Um, materials that I have in my home. So, you know, again, what's not mandatory is for you to go out and get white plates and the shaped ones that we have on campus or in the main kitchen lab. That's okay. You don't have to have it. All right. Um, so with that said, let's get plated because everything, as you know, gets really cold quick and uh, we want to work with hot food and we want to work with it fast. So we'll go with the puree right in the center. To me, that's a nice uh, portion size. And what I'm gonna do from here is I'm going to just take my spoon and just spread it out. So the cavatelli has a nice bed in order to rest on with the broccolini, right? So that's what we're gonna do. Next, um, I'm going to take my pasta and I'm going to neatly put it on top. This looks great. You can easily use a spoon for this. Clearly I'm using tongs and my hands. That's okay. A nice portion there. That looks great. Kind of top it with the broccolini. Uh, that looks really, really cool. Sorry, <laughs> I had my hand in the way. All right, now we'll go for some mushrooms. And we can just sort of scatter. Um, I would avoid the rosemary leaves at this point because they've given all they can give, you know, as a part of the comfing process, right? So I have that. Last but not least, I will just go ahead and grate some of our Parmesan right on top, nice and fresh. And there we have it. Cavatelli with sauteed broccolini, uh, confit mushroom, and uh, rutabaga puree with mascarpone cheese. Now, um, just wanted to grab something, of course, because what you heard was the sound of the sink next to me, so I can, you know, wet the towel, so I can go ahead and. Want my wipe my plate. And I think this is great. So I'm gonna see if I can angle the camera so that you can see. Alright, I'll pause. <laughs> 